yeah, yeah. Hey guys, it's She. I'm back today with another video. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a thrift store haul. So all of the items that I picked up today came from the Goodwill. Okay, and like a couple of other thrift stores. But anyway guys, we're going to go ahead and get straight into this video. Make sure you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps so that other people can find my videos. And <clears throat> now that my camera is back guys and y'all have this fabulous quality, you would definitely start seeing more of me on a regular basis. So everything I'm going to show you today has pretty much already been DIY'd most of the things. Anyway, let me go ahead and just show them to you. The first and my favorite items out of this week's haul are these two pictures. I thought they were so cute and guys, they go with my living room perfectly. You guys see my living room. It's cream, gray, and gold. And I thought these would be really, really cute. Y'all know that flower wall? I'm not going to show you it. But if you want to go back and check out my last home tour, then you guys will see that beautiful white flower wall with the gold table in the mirror. I thought these would be super cute over the gold table. And for $4.25 for the two of them, how could I say no? I had to get them. Because I'm thinking like even if... Even if they don't work out on my house, I can sell resell these for at least $25. Only thing that's wrong with them is the backs are pretty ripped up, but who cares? It's going to be on the wall anyway. Next, guys, is this vintage mirror, and I'm actually getting ready to go meet um, the lady today. She kept asking me, like, is this wood? Is this wood? And I really wasn't sure if the mirror was wood or not, but after looking at the back of it, it's definitely wood. Or if it's not wood, it's some kind of resin. Guys, they have mirrors similar to this at Walmart, but not quite as ornate and detailed. This thing was disgusting when I found it. Like, if you guys would have seen it in a thrift store, you would have left it right there. Which is what I started to do. But I was like, you know what? No, because it's so ornate. It's so detailed. It was only $3.99. How could I say no? And so literally all I did was I coated it in a coat of white chalk paint. You guys, I make my own chalk paint using um, flat paint from Walmart. You can get a gallon for $12 and some change. And then I mix in calcium carbonate, which is linked. If you want to buy the calcium carbonate on the bag, it has... A recipe for how to make your own chalk paint you can get it by clicking the link in the description box to my Amazon store but anyway that is the uh, paint that is on this mirror and it just brought it to life and gave it a whole new look so I'm going to meet a lady in a few minutes well in about 45 minutes and she's buying it for $50 cute right so guys this I think I show on another video but I went live brief well for about an hour the other night and I put the live on private <sighs> because I told you guys a story and I showed a video of this guy and I think he said the name of his restaurant in the video so for his privacy and I don't want you bitches going to his page and stuff <laughs> but yeah for his privacy um I went and I took the video down I'm probably gonna download it and edit it so you guys can see me paint but anyway this is how that frame turned out it says um family makes a house a home and I I made these little molds on the top of it turned out fabulous guys and it's just like a vintage style mirror it was originally from target it was brand new but i found it at the thrift store for five dollars so i coated it in chalk paint and then i used some antique wax sorry i used some dark wax and also some clear wax to make it look more vintage so i don't know if you could tell a little dirty but I'll clean it once I get to the um, booth. 30 I think it'll go for $29.95 honestly. I think that's about the most that I can get for it. Which is good off of a $5 flip. Next guys I had this sitting at the booth for about a week. It didn't sell which I figured that it wouldn't because whatever. It's Pottery Barn Teen and I got this from my local Goodwill. I think I paid $3.25 for it has the little crystal knob at the top but the color is just awful like the color is awful it's like this ugly dirty looking beige so what me and Mackenzie are going to do is just coat it in a coat of um white chalk paint and then we're going to go lightly distress it because this this even has some light distressing on it I don't know if you guys can see 
but it's lightly distressed. So we're gonna coat it in white, lightly distress it, and then sell it for $19.95, even $18.95. That's the most I think that we'll be able to get out of it. And what I'm gonna do is stage it with some jewelry. So we'll just put like a necklace or a bracelet or something on it and take some really cute pictures of it in the house and it'll sell quickly. Next guys, I got some candlesticks. I bought these beautiful red candlesticks. I don't even know if I showed them in a thrift store video or not, but they sold for $24.95. If I remember, I'll insert a picture. So when I saw these, these were, I think $3.99 each or something like that. First I was like, God, are they too Christmas? But I don't think so. And I think the fact that those other red candlesticks sold so fast, these will go quickly. So I'm going to put them in my booth for $24.95. They would be great for Christmas. But a lot of people have red decor in their house. Um, I did have to fix these because the bottom and the top kept falling off. And that's probably why somebody took them to the thrift store in the first place. But all I did was take some super glue that I bought from Dollar Tree. And I super glued this on and super glued that on. And now they're good to go. Um, so what I'll do is I need to go to Dollar Tree, get some candles, sit them on top, and then I'll take some pictures to kind of stage them. The thing I've been noticing is like the pictures that are in my house usually sell the items better than the pictures I take in the booth. So I'm going to try to get some quick pictures of them before I jump on the road to meet the lady. And guys, it's snowing here. So it's not snowing, snowing. It's like sleet snowing. So... I want to get out of here as quickly as possible so that way I can make the sale, drop furniture off at my booth and go get Kenzie and go to the grocery store before the weather gets too bad. I know, a lot. So guys, I got four candlesticks. These two. And then I got these two for $4.25. Now, if you look on the inside, that's what they look like when I first got them. I'm so sorry I didn't take a picture of them. My camera was messed up. I didn't think I was going to do anything special with them but they were completely glass okay and so what I did was I painted them with my with my chalk paint and then I put these little molds on them myself so if you guys saw me live the other night I was like oh my god this paint is not working I was like embarrassed I was like oh my god I'm trying to show them how to do something and it's not working but stuff doesn't always work the first time sometimes you have to try again so with these I use that same chalk paint mixture I was telling you guys about and then I coated them three times so I had to put three coats of paint on them and then I added these molds the molds are from Amazon this light is so bright so the molds that I use are from Amazon and then I just use paper clay. So guys, I made all these cool little like flowers and look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And then I went ahead and coated it with clear wax and dark wax to give them like an antique style quality. So I'm going to sell these for $24.95 in the booth and I got all four of them for just $4.00. And so I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet. With these ones, I probably will add flowers to them. But I probably will just keep them this bright white because I don't know. I like bright white. It looks nice and clean. So we're going to try both ways. Both sets will be $24.95. That is a heck of a flip for $4.25. I'm trying to think what else I need to show you guys. Oh guys, so I will be doing a video on how I do the candlesticks, so stay tuned for that. Um, I made a DIY video for this cute pedal stool. I started painting this the other night on live. Um, it started out this color and I recorded it guys. I'm going to have the video edited. This is what it looked like when I was done. These are more molds. Again, I used paper clay and then I took some dark wax and clear wax and waxed it up so now it has like that vintage antique style quality but this is so pretty like I can just imagine this sitting on top of somebody's dresser with jewelry inside of it or you could even put treats and snacks and all types of cute things so there's just the possibilities are freaking endless when it comes to this piece and this was three dollars and 25 cents at the thrift store and I'll probably sell it now for either somewhere between 16 and 19.95 guys i also sell shoes okay and i know you're like what but in virginia beach we are coastal and some people around here are little country so i found these boots they were only five dollars at the thrift store they're genuine leather they're made by circle s they're size eight 
and I'm so mad they're not at eight and a half because if they were eight and a half, I would keep these and I would definitely wear these boots today with my red hair because I think that would be freaking fabulous. Um, one of the managers at the antique booth, she had on one day this shirt that says local grown and some cowboy boots and she just looks so cute and country. So I've been selling a lot of men's wingtip dress shoes. So I was like, you know what, these are five dollars. I'm going to stick them in the booth for maybe thirty nine as well. And they're probably not going to be there for very long. So holler at me if you want these boots in your local. Okay, guys. Last but not least, I got two clothing items. I'm going to definitely start my Poshmark this weekend. I know I keep saying that in all of my last videos, guys. But I have so many things I have to do in between. So many people buying furniture. And I've actually been delivering the furniture. And that's how I've been able to sell it so quickly. A lot of it so your girl's tired and busy but I am gonna start a Poshmark because I have so many beautiful clothes for sale this is like a cute top and it's velvet it's super soft and I love how this part is like just a little bit see-through so this will be so pretty for a date night um, I paid I think $4.99 or two between two and $4.99 for it and I'll probably put it up on Poshmark for $24. Just really, really cute. Somebody is going to look so sexy in this. Um, and the size is a size small. Size small. So as somebody had mentioned in a video, like, you always tell us how much you paid for things. Do you think that people are going to um, buy from you knowing how cheap that you got it? Yes, somebody will. And I'll tell you why. Because somebody else can go into the thrift store and see all of these items and walk completely past them. So it does take a certain level of skill and a certain eye to find good deals at the thrift store. So you have to know what you're looking for and most people don't care. Like if they like something, they're gonna get it. So the last thing in this haul guys is this BC BG dress. I think I paid $6.99 for it. It has this lovely, almost like Aztec print over it. Um, it's a size 4, so this would be so cute for a really petite woman, or it would be cute for like somebody's kid who's graduating, or perhaps going to like a little spring formal or something. It's just an adorable dress. It still has the tags on it, and there's a zipper in the back. And this one I probably would just sell for $30. I'm trying to find the other tag. Okay, yeah, so it just has this tag on it. So yeah. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If so, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and follow me on my two Instagram accounts at Miss Fashion Beauty Late and also Cozy Interiors by She so that way you can check out more of my home decor and also things that I have for sale. Anyway guys, see you later. Bye!